welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course sandhi in paninian grammar we continue studying the ach sandhi or the vowel sandhi we have stated that the ach sandhi can be classified under two broad heads the first one being ekasthanika ekadesh described as one sthani and one adesh one substituent and one substitute one substitute coming in place of one substituent this is the first classification and the second one is dvisthanika ekadesha one substitute in place of two substituents two substituents getting substituted by one substitute dvisthanika ekadesha but we shall study this later on right now we are focusing on ekasthanika ekadesha and we said that there are two instances of this type of ach sandhi they are yan sandhi and ayavayav sandhi respectively and we have already studied yan sandhi we already studied the sutra that prescribes that describes this yan sandhi namely iko yanachi 6177 we studied the uddeshya vidheya bhav that is discussed while interpreting this particular sutra we also studied individual examples we also looked at the criterion for selection of substitute we also studied how iko yanachi and its output becomes the input for the swara operations then we studied the second instance of this ekasthanika ekadesha which is icho yavayavaha we also studied the sutra we also studied some of the examples now we continue studying the other examples ekasthanika ekadesha is diagrammatically represented in this particular fashion where you have a plus b in the samhita mode b coming immediately after a and so a gets substituted by c ekasthani ek adesh one substituent one substitute a plus b being the input c plus b is the output b remains unchanged a is substituted by c this type of sandhi and the two instances are stated in the section 6172 onwards up to 6183 from 6184 onwards the dvisthanika ekadesha is stated by the sutra ekah purva parayoho now the second instance of this ekasthanika ekadesha is ayavayav sandhi and we have studied some examples we have to study some other examples this is the sutra which describes the ayavayav sandhi the sutra is echo yavayavaha 6178 this sutra consists of two words h h 6/1 of h h is a pratyahara and so h means in place of h ayavayavah is 1/3 of ayavayav so h stands for the sounds that are present in the sutra 4 and 5 of the pratyahara sutras namely a o sutra 4 and i o sutra 5 and in place of these four 
we have four substitutes ayavayav which are ay av ay and av amongst them we have studied the examples of a and o when they are followed immediately by an ach or a vowel in the samhita mode then a is substituted by ay and o is substituted by av these examples we have seen now in this lecture we shall see examples where i is followed by an ach and i gets substituted by i au is followed by immediately by an ach or a vowel and au gets substituted by av these examples we shall study in this particular lecture so these are the general templates of such individual examples so we have i followed by a and i will be substituted by i and a remains as it is so i plus a is the input 6178 applies and i plus a is the output we know that a is part of ach which is an uddeshya and so a can stand for its homogeneous sounds a is considered to be one of them so we can have examples i plus a also here so if i plus a is the input 6178 will apply and will generate the output in the form of i plus a if i plus short e is the input 6178 will apply and will generate the output i plus e e remains unchanged if you have i plus long e as input the output would be i plus long e after the application of 6178 if i plus short u is the input 6178 would apply and the output generated would be i plus short u then i plus long u and 6178 applies and the output generated is i plus long u similarly if you have i plus ru 6178 applies and the output generated is i plus ru if you have i plus long ru as the input 6178 will apply and i plus long ru will be the output generated if i is followed by lu 6178 will apply and the output generated would be i plus lu if i plus a is the input 6178 will apply and i plus a would be the output if i plus o is the input 6178 will apply and i plus o would be the output if i plus i is the input 6178 will apply and i plus i would be the output and finally if i plus o is the input 6178 will apply and i plus o will be the output now let us look at individual examples explaining these templates first we have i plus a as input and i plus a is the output so we have a concrete example in the form of the word rai plus as and we are deriving the nominative plural of the pratipadika rai meaning wealth so rai plus as and you have i plus a so i gets substituted by i so we have rai plus as rayas and rayaha by the application of the sutra that we shall study in the visarga sandhi section similarly when we are deriving the form 
by adding the suffix ak, ak to the verbal root ni in the sense of one who leads ni becomes nai by the application of certain rule in the ashtadhyayi and at this stage nai plus ak we have ai followed by a so 6178 applies and ai is substituted by ai so nai is substituted by nai and you have the form nayak that is derived this is a kridanta form and that's why it is put in one pair of square brackets now a also represents a so we have rai plus a the instrumental singular of rai and so i is substituted by i by the application of ho yavaya vah and so we get rai plus a and finally rai a these are the examples of sandhi happening within a pada now when we have sandhi happening in between two padas this is an example vartai asha so vartai is the imperative first person singular vartai vartavahai vartamahai and asha asha is hope now when these two words are join are in close proximity in the samhita mode and their meanings need not be connected in such a case ho yavaya vah applies and i is substituted by i so we have vartai asha and then optionally this ya gets deleted and we get the form varta asha this is the sandhi is between two padas then we have next i plus e and the output is i plus e the example is of the compound rai plus isht and i is substituted by i by the application of ho yavaya vah and so we get rai plus isht rai isht this is a compound word and so samhita is obligatory similarly rai plus ishwar long e and so we get i substituted by i so we have rai plus ishwar and rai ishwar so these are the examples of sandhi within a pad now when we have two padas in between those two padas when we have sandhi what do we get if we have labhai plus ishtam labhai is imperative first person singular labhai labhavahai labhamahai plus ishtam so this i is followed by ach so i gets substituted by i so we get labhai plus ishtam and this year gets optionally dropped by another sutra that we shall study in the visarga sandhi section and so we get the form labha ishtam so similarly labhai plus ishwaram long e and we get the same process ho yavaya vah applies and this i is substituted by i so we have labhai plus ishwaram ya gets deleted optionally so we have the form labha ishwaram so in these two cases labhai ishtam and labhai ishwaram being the input we note that the output form consists an optional form in which ho yavaya vah becomes an input for the rule which generates this output labha ishwaram and labha ishtam now we have examples of i followed by u being the input and the output generated is i followed by u after the application of 6178 so we have rai followed by ukta and i is substituted by i 
So, we have raya followed by ukta that is rayukta. Similarly, rai followed by udha and we have rai followed by udha as an output where i is substituted by i and we get the form rayudha. These two are the compound forms and so samhita is obligatory. In the next two examples, we have sandhi happening between two padas, vartai plus upari. Vartai is the imperative adnyartha first person singular followed by upari. So, i is substituted by i and so you have vartai plus upari as the output. Now, this becomes an input for another rule which optionally deletes this year and you get the form varta and upari. Similarly, vartai plus udhaha and i is followed by an ach. So, icho yavayavaha applies and then the output generated is vartai plus udhaha and then optionally year gets deleted and we get the form varta udhaha. Next we have i plus ru being the input, h o y y avaha applies and i plus ru is the output. So, we have rai followed by rishi in the compound. So, i gets substituted by aya, so raya, raya plus rishi and rai rishi. Similarly, vartai plus rishi which is asandhi between two padas now. So, vartai plus rishihi and we have i substituted by aya. So, we have vartai plus rishihi and optionally varta plus rishihi here being deleted by another rule. Similarly, labhai raka ru karam. This is long ru. Labhai ru karam. And so once again i is substituted by i. So, we have labhai plus ru karam, labha ru karam, labhai ru karam, labha ru karam. Then we have i plus lu being the input, h o y v i a v a h applies and you have i plus lu. So, we have rai plus lu kara as part of the compound and i is substituted by i. So, we have rai plus lu kara and rai lu kara being the, being the finally generated form of the compound. Now, when we have labhai plus lukaram and labhai is the imperative first person singular followed by lukaram. So, i is substituted by i and so we have labhai plus lukaram and labha lukaram being the optional form that is generated. These are the examples of i followed by lu being the input and the output generated is i followed by the vowel lu. Then we have i plus a being the input and 6178 applies and i plus a is the output. So, we have rai plus a and now we are deriving the dative singular chaturthi ekavachana of the word rai and rai plus a H O Y A V A H A applies and we have Rai plus A and finally Rai A. Then the Sandhi between the two Padas and here is the example Nivartai Eshanayaha. Nivartai Eshanayaha. So I is immediately followed by A and so h o y y v a h applies over here and i is substituted by i. So, we get nevartai plus eshanayaha and then finally we get nevarta plus eshanayaha. Now, we have i plus o as the input and i plus o is the output. 
So we have Rai plus Os and we are deriving the genitive and locative dual of Rai, Shashti Saptami Dvivachana, where I is followed by O, the Ach, and I is substituted by Aya, by the application of Echoyavayavaha. And so we have Raya plus Os as output and then Rayos and then Rayoho. This was within a pada. Now when in between two padas we have Labhai plus Ojaha and this I is followed by O that is an Ach and so I gets substituted by I. So we have Labhai plus Ojaha and so we get Ya deleted optionally and Labha plus Ojaha. Then we have I plus I being the input and the output generated is I plus I after the application of 6178. So we have a compound Rai plus I K where we have I followed by I and so the output generated after the application of 6178 is Raya plus Aikya that is Raya Aikya. This is a compound and so Samhita is obligatory. Now we have an example where Vartai plus Aisha Maha are uttered in the Samhita mode where I is immediately followed by I and so 6178 will apply and the output generated would be Vartaya plus Aisha Maha and this year will get deleted optionally and you have Varta plus Aisha Maha. And finally, we have I plus Au being the input and 6178 applies and the output generated is I plus Au. So the example is Rai plus Aushadha being a compound where I is followed by Au which is an Ach. So 6178 HO Yavai Avaha applies and the output generated is Raya plus Aushadha and Raya Aushadha. Now within two padas we have Labhai followed by Aushadham, I followed by Au that is an Ach. So HO Yavai Avaha applies and the output generated is labhaya plus aushadham and optionally labha plus aushadham. These are the examples of I being the substitu substituent and I being the substitute in the environment of a vowel immediately following. Now let us look at the examples where the substituent is au and the substitute is av in the environment of the vowels. So au plus a and 6178 applies and the output generated is av plus a. Since we have also applied the uddeshya vidhaya bhava, a stands also for its long variety a and so we have au plus a being the input and 6178 applies and av plus a is the output. Similarly, av plus e is the input and av plus e is the output after the application of 6178. Av plus long e being the input, 6178 applies and av plus long e is the output. Av plus short u is the input, 6178 applies and av plus short u is the output. Au plus long u is the input and 6178 applies and av plus long u is the output. Similarly, au plus ru, short ru is the input, 6178 applies and av plus short ru is the output. Au plus long ru being the input and 6178 applies and av plus long ru is the output. Au plus lu is the input, 6178 applies and av plus lu is the output. Then we have au plus a 
as the input in the Samhita mode and 6178 applies and the output generated is R plus A. Then O plus O being the input and the output is R plus O after the application of 6178. Then we have O plus I being the input and the output is R plus I after the application of 6178. Then we have O plus O as the input 6178 applies and the output generated is R plus O. These are the generic templates of the Sandhi. Now let us look at the concrete individual examples. So first we have O plus O being the input and the output is R plus O. So here is the example GLOW plus US and we are deriving the nominative plural form of GLOW. So O followed by O vowel. So O is substituted by AV. So we have GLAVA plus US as the output GLAVAS and GLAVAHA. Similarly we have the verbal root PU with the suffix AKA being the meaning the agent. So purifier. So PU becomes PAU and this O is followed by A now at this stage. So the output after the application of 6178 is PAVA plus AKA that is PAVAKA that is a fire. Then we derive the instrumental singular of GLOW. So we have GLOW followed by A which is a vowel. O is substituted by AV by 6178 and so we get GLAVA plus A GLAVA. So these three examples are the Sandhi, examples of the Sandhi happening in between a pada. Now is an example where we have Sandhi that is happening in between two padas. Ramau agachataha. Two Ramas come. So O is followed by a vowel, A, and so O is substituted by Av. So Ramau agachataha, and optionally Rama agachataha. Then we have O plus E as the input, and the output generated is Av plus E. So we have glow followed by iti, O is substituted by av, so glav plus iti, glaviti. Once again we have glow plus ishvara in the compound where glow is substituted by glav, that is O is substituted by av followed by ishvara and so we get glavishvara. Then we have the Sandhi between two Padas, Ramau plus Ichataha and Au is followed by E and so we get Au substituted by Av and so Ramau plus Ichataha and finally Rama Ichataha. Then we have Au plus U as the input and the output generated is Av plus U. So we have glow plus ukta, a compound, and au is substituted by av. So we have glava plus ukta and glavukta as the finally derived compound form. Similarly, glow plus udha, au is substituted by av. So we have glava plus udha, and that is glavudha being the output. Both these examples show the Sandhi in between the compounded form. Now here is an example which is the example of a Sandhi that happens between two Padas, Ramau Uktau. Ramau Uktau where you have Au followed by U which is a vowel. So 6178 applies and substitutes this Au by Av. So you have Ramau plus Uktau and then V gets optionally dropped and you have Rama plus Uktau as the finally derived output. Then we have Au plus Ru as the input and Av plus Ru is the output. So you have Glau plus Rishi and Au is substituted 
this au is substituted by av so we have glav plus rishi glav rishi similarly glav plus ru kar as a compound and this au is substituted by av so we have glav plus ru kar glav ru kar then we have sandhi in between two padas ramau ruchataha au followed by ach and au is substituted by av so we have ramav ruchataha and finally rama ruchataha then we have au plus lu as the input and 6178 applies and the output generated is av plus lu glau plus lukar as a compound and au becomes substituted by av so we have glav plus lukar that is glav lukar then we have au plus a as the input 6178 applies and output generated is av plus a so we have glau plus a we are deriving the dative singular of glau so glau plus a and au is substituted by av so we have glav plus a glav a then we have an example of sandhi between two padas so we have ramau followed by etaha and au is substituted by av so we have ramav plus etaha optionally rama etaha then we have glau au plus o as the input and 6178 applies and av plus o is the output so we have glau followed by os this is the genitive and locative dual of glau now this au is substituted by av so we have glav plus os glavos glavo ho this is within a pad now when in between two padas we have ramau plus okhataha this is a verbal form two ramas go in this case au is immediately followed by o so au is substituted by av so we have ramav okhataha and then this word gets deleted optionally and so we get the form rama okhataha two ramas go then we have au followed by ai as the input and the output generated after the application of 6178 is av followed by ai so glau plus aikya as a compound and we have 6178 applied and we have glav plus aikya glav aikya the generated output of the compound this was within a compound within a pad now when the sandhi happens between two padas here is an example ramau aidhetam where you have au followed by ai and au is substituted by av and you have the output ramau plus aidhetam rama aidhetam being the optional form then we have au followed by au being the input 6178 applies and av plus au is the output so we have glau plus aushadha in the compound 6178 applies and the output generated is glav plus aushadha that is glav aushadha this is within a compound now when we have two padas and the sandhi happens in between two padas this is an example ramau plus aukhatam this is the imperfect past tense of the verbal root ukh so two ramas went and 6178 applies and the output generated is ramav aukhatam rama aukhatam to summarize we studied the examples of 6178 in detail we focused on two vowels first namely a and o and then we focused on the remaining two vowels namely i and au being the substituents 
And then we studied examples where I hour and I hour are the substitutes. Many of these examples are artificial because we don't have such words in frequent use ending in I and O and A and O mainly. This Sandhi we studied in different environments inside a Pada, in between two Padas. Now remains the study of the additional rules which explain this Sandhi further. This we shall do in the next lecture. Thank you for your attention.